Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm sharing some information about a house sign planter box as well as a solar post planter. I'm at Michael's right now. So I use one of these. This thing is showing up as $5.50. I don't remember how much I spent, but I know I use a coupon. So that's the base of it. And then I got one of these. This is showing up as $16. I probably bought both of these things with a, a um, coupon because that's how I shop here only. So this is what I have at home. Put these two things together. And I just put a screw through there. Four screws to hold this on. And this is my sign, my planter at home. Comparing that sign to the one that I have here, the board that I used in the back is actually a little bit smaller. Um, in the bottom, I've put in these little blocks to prevent the dirt from falling through. Um, and this is the box that I previously made about two years ago. So I'm updating it to make it a little bit darker. I'm changing the stain. And I'm just showing here how um, it currently looks. And then I'm going to show how I tried to stain it. So my mistake was not sanding this down first. I actually did sand it a tiny bit, but not much. So once I put all the stain on, thought it looked pretty good. Um, it actually didn't get as dark as I wanted it to because I wanted it to match the planners that I put the solar posts in, which I'm gonna show you next. So these are the planters that I got from Home Depot. I put these solar posts in there. I ordered those from Home Depot online. They actually work really well and it's simple to put together. So all the pieces just click right into each other as you can see in the little diagram there. Each piece just goes right in and it came in a set of two. And in that bottom right hand corner, it shows you how you can dig these into the ground so they can either go through the ground with a, with a little stake or you can screw it into some wood. So I screw these posts directly into the bottom of the planters and then I fill them with dirt and put the plants in. So these are on either side of the front of my house and this one is on the right side and then the next one I'm gonna show is on the left side. I originally had actual plants in there but for some reason the dirt does not allow things to grow very well in this, these two sections. So to prevent killing tr little trees every year and returning them back to Home Depot, I decided to just do this and it's been working out very well so far. So as you can see, they are dark brown. The wood is dark brown. So with that sign on the front of the house, I wanted that sign to match these little planters. So this is the brown that I'm looking for. Well, I did take this in, sanded it down with an electric sander, and now I'm just smoothing on that stain, and it's gonna look much better in the end. And I left the extended version of me painting this on for those of you who like to see things glide across the screen. Sometimes it can be a little relaxing, so of course feel free to skip through this if you don't want to see the process.
So to make sure I got that rich color I was looking for, I let it sit for a few minutes and then I went in and just wiped it down. I smoothed out some of the um, rough spots and then this is the final result. I originally put this board in which I put a little stain on one side of and I thought it was a little too much brown so the other side is white. I just went and refreshed the white, painted it over a little bit and then flipped it over and this is what it looks like. So I added the flowers in, the same ones to match the ones that were in the planners and after I arranged them a little bit to my liking, this is how it turned out. And then you put the number in that top left corner right there. And I'm gonna add my numbers after this. But this is it, the final result. And you can hang the box any way you need to if you wanna add a rope it comes with a small rope but I don't think it's strong enough when you add the plants um, so I have this hanging on the front of the house with a, it's like a little metal piece that's already attached to the siding of our house I have it hanging on that but again it can go up in any way and just put the, the number on there and you're good to go and then I added this footage in case you wanted to see what the light looks like at night it works really well <laughs> 